Okay, now I've, I've went ahead and removed the pins and I'm ready to turn it, but before I turn it, what I want to show you, now you don't have to do this, but it does make a little bit nicer of a job. Right here you have your half inch sewing allowance into this corner. So what I want you to do is trim away just a little bit of the sewing allowance in this corner. Do not hit your stitch. Just like that. And then you're going to go ahead, any place where there's a corner, where this corner comes here, just trim away a little bit of that because what's going to happen is it'll help you when you're ready to press it. Um, you won't have all that extra in there right where the corners are. That's just a little sewing tip. And you go ahead from the top, you pull it through. Like so. Every once in a while, I forget to remove a pin. There we go. Okay. Now, in the corners, get this laid out. Be sure that you get these corners, all the fabric out of them. Sometimes you want to take a pin and go in there and pull this out. Just so you have it even. Or stick your fingers in there as much, but my, my fingers are a little... Um, I don't have any fingernails to, to do it, so I have to use a little pin. And then go ahead and take your pressing board. I like to start with the bottom. The bottom is probably the most important part of it. Make sure you pull the fabric out so you're, e you're even with your lining. Then go ahead and press all the way around. Again, if you see a corner that is not out, pull it out with the pin. You want to make sure you have a nice squared off um, jabble. Okay, so the, the jabble is all pressed. Now I've stuck my pattern back on, and what you'll notice now is that your pattern's a little bit wider because we've got this sewn. And it's only about a half inch. So you just want to put it on and drape over a little bit of the pattern and a half inch on that side and a half inch on that side. Then right where the notches are in your pattern, go ahead and put notches onto the javel. Those are your pleating notches. Now this side, the longest side, is your return, and that's where we're going to start pleating from. So now I'm going to turn this around. Well, let me see. I probably can't. Let me keep it, keep it so you can see it. I'm going to remove this pattern. Now what's nice about this pattern is that you can say, okay, which is my first knot? Where's my first pleat? And you realize, oh, it's this one. So then you go over here and you say, okay, that's my first pleat. And you go ahead, keeping your top even. And you're going to stick a pin. Here, matter of fact, you may want to stick two pins. You want to make sure you're going through all your material.
then you're going to go to your next one, okay? So now you take your pattern here that you've used. Say, okay, that was my first one. I'm going to come over here and say, oh, it must be this one right here. So then, go to this one. And there's our second one. Keep in the top nice and even. Another pin. Okay, so that's your return. That's your first one. That's your second one. Came over here. Your third one is right here. You can just follow the pattern that you made. It's right there. Come over here. And that's the beauty of my patterns, that they, they're, they're made so you can follow them. And you've got a left and a right, so when you do your other jabbo, you'll follow the other pattern. And you'll notice right here at the edge that this was just going to cover that little edge. And that's perfect just the way it is. Now what I'm going to recommend you do at this point, you don't have to, but what I like to do is to pin all these folds in. Just makes a little nicer job. And you may have to measure you know if this is a three and a half or four inch return, keep it lined up. And just take your tape measure and make sure that it is. And starting from that side, stick some pins in it. And make sure that this all looks good, lined up. Pins in it. Now, what I would do at this point is I would take my iron and I would just give it a light press just to just to keep these all in. Just give it a light press like that. And that'll help it from winging out. You don't want it to wing out when you board mount it. Then, this is your return. So what I like to do is take this return, fold it like this, keeping my three and a half inch or whatever my return is, and again, giving it a little press right here. And that will also help to go around this corner. You see how nice and crisp that is around the corner. And now, the last step is to sew the top. And to do that, I want you to cut a four inch strip of your fabric, just like this. And you can cut it down, you'd want it like uh, maybe two inches on each side of this. Like that. And now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to sew this down. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back at the sewing machine, and the last step of this is to add your, this is what you call a tagging strip, this is what the, the part that's going to be stapled onto your board. And I've got my Jabbo face up on the sewing machine, I use a half inch sewing allowance like I've had um, previously, and the face of this fabric goes down and it faces 
the, um, the pattern on your jabba. You're going to go ahead, put it down using a half inch stitch, start sewing it down. Of course it helps if the machine is turned on. Step one, always turn on your machine. Okay. There we go. Give it a little back tack. Now your home sewing machine may not like the thickness, so you might have to go a little slower. Okay, give a little back tack at the end. Take it out. Now there's one tiny little step left, and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so we just finished sewing on a tacking strip, and that's the part that can be tacked. They call it a tacking strip because it's the part that's going to be tacked onto your board. And now I'm just going to remove the pins from the jabbo. And the last part is to press this down. That's going to give you a nice clean edge right here to staple onto your board. And the part you get stapled onto your board is from, from your sewing line here. And then when you staple it, follow my instructions on how to professionally staple this onto your board. Um, it's all there. Um, these videos, my patterns, I don't think you're going to fail. They, um, and it's probably the only way because well, what I've understood from many, many people is uh, their um, swags and jabos are just too complicated. Just go by, the, by a piece of paper, um, the paper pattern. So I hope you uh, have great success. You can always email me. I'll be glad to help you and to support you in any way I can. Thank you very much. Scott Weaver from Factory Direct Window Treatments.